Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Prey. Uh, so we, you know, we save somebody's life. Maybe. I mean, I guess I'm probably just gonna blow up the station pretty soon, so... Maybe her life's not saved saved. But what I did, I guess, incontrovertibly do, is make it so that I am the final arbiter of whether or not her life is saved. And that, I'm gonna count as half. That's half a life saved. Put it down in the stats, 0.5, or maybe uh, 1 with an asterisk, however you want to do it. Uh, so, man, hate, hate, hate phantoms. I just remembered what I was up to. Damn it, I hate phantoms. I hate phantoms. This is not a real, hold on, this is not an actual weapon in this circumstance. You know what, do I have any weapon upgrade kits? I have a bunch of weapon upgrade kits. And I have 16 neuro mods. You know what? Let's just let's just go hard. The Q beam is now our weapon of choice. And let's just upgrade it all to hell. I also should maybe consider getting rid of some of these extra zombies. I mean, I really want to dismantle. Or I really want to um, recycle them rather than dismantle them. Okay. So we just bought maximum battery efficiency. <laughs> Maximum move speed while firing, maximum firing power. How many weapon upgrade kits? I still have one. Could I upgrade one of my other... Oh, I haven't upgraded this thing at all. Uh, yeah, you know what? I like this. I like the stun gun. We gotta make some ammo for it. Oh, hold on a second. My inventory is not actually that full. Look at all these unstacked alien organs. There we go. Alright. Let's reload. We are going into this situation with maximum health. Or with maximum ammo. Where the hell is that thing? I can hear it stomping around. I, I know not whence. There's a very bright flashing light above us. Is it above me? It sounds like it's really close. Yeah, you know what? I think it's upstairs. Let's, let's go back over to this area over here. Get up on the higher level. Oh, can you see me? We got, we got scary music. I mean, I guess the scary music has not been like super indicative thus far of uh, things actually being scary. Let's go find this thing. But first, sneaking. Unfortunately, sneak attack not really going to be relevant. Oh wow, look at how quickly that works. Okay, yeah. Yeah, upgraded Q-beam is, is the way to go. That was wonderful. Okay, uh, let's... Turn off some of this nonsense. The air filtration control. What the hell? Is there a phantom in here with me, or what was that? I definitely have the spooky vision on. Uh, is there a way to lock this door? There is not. Alright. Whatever's out there, come and get it. I will reploy your ass. Oh, it's a poltergeist! Is he... Ah. Hey, we figured out what the employers are for! Awesome! Backstabbed in the face. Did I...? Ooh, this might be new. Trevor's breath fogged up the glass of the airlock door, obscuring the faces of the royal astronomer and Mercy. Smirking her signature smirk at him from the other side. Breathe shallow, Pulsar, the astronomer menaced. For these breaths be your last breaths. Now that I have the prism, the Dark Star Anomaly is under my control, and all the galaxy shall... 
and the astronomer didn't finish because he was interrupted by his head being exploded by a blast from Mercy's phase pistol. His remaining words replaced by the muted clattering of his teeth against the other side of the airlock door. Ugh. White breath, or white breath fog mingled with red mist on the airlock glass, casting Trevor in a pink glow. That's, I don't, that's not going to work that way. Nothing personal, Trevor, Mercy said. I'm sure this thing will fetch a nice price on the Thraxian black market. And with that, she kicked the airlock button, sending Trevor tumbling out, Trevor, tumbling out into the unloving black of space. Man, I just, I want to read that whole book so bad. Wait, I'm still getting spooky combat music. Is there really another one? I'll replay that one, too. He better watch himself. Hey, this might be interesting. Gene, it's Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a huh. lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something when I was checking the last O2 station. An ovoid mass, roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris, loose tubing, I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. Oh, I've just got to breathe. She sounds crazy, but is not crazy. I'm going to try another airlock, then I'll call back. I'm wondering if we should take some of these wrench upgrades. I've been fighting people with the wrench a lot, but I just barely have enough neuromods to go to hacking for, and I don't really want to drop below that until I feel pretty sure that this area doesn't have a reason for me to hack for in it. What am I... These things are so hard to carry. Okay, I'm going to look up so it doesn't scrape the floor. Nope, dropped it again. Where did that, uh, where did that guy go? I didn't imagine that, right? There was an operator out here. We should probably, I'm um, just noticing, uh, do something about our suit integrity and maybe our health. Uh, I don't have any actual food. Well, fine. Where did that operator go? Also, I am so annoyed. Uh, huh. There's a thermal phantom over here that I fought but didn't loot? How did that happen? No, it, the operator did not go in there. Yeah, I'm super annoyed with the freaking long cruise at my apartment. I wait, and I wait, and I'm like, okay, today must not be a, must not be a long care day. And then, of course, the second the recording starts, all of a sudden, here's the loud-ass uh, loud riding mowers. Turn off some of this fire just because I'm nervous walking around. Really? Well, I guess that operator was imaginary. I mean, it's possible Morgan's seeing things. She's having a she's having a rough couple of years. Anyway, there was a computer up there, and I completely ignored it because I was hunting. Are you kidding me? Morgan, climb. Help brother out over here. It's back here. Nothing. Nothing is back here. Great. Okay. Now what is the deal with this? Fan controls. Warning atmosphere must be running at all times. Temporary interrupt for the entire fan array should never last longer than 30 seconds. Why would I want to interrupt the fan array? Oh. Oh, did it go in this little room? Oh, you know, it was always in this little room. This little room that I don't have access to. But I could. You know what? The whole point of taking all of these, uh... All of these skills to maximize our resource gain was that I would be able to get the skills I wanted. So let's try it. I still maintain that the game is better, the design is, I think, a little bit more satisfying if there is no way for you to get everything, and it looks like uh, they're doing a pretty good job of that here, because with the 
including the Titan powers, there's no way you can get the current mods. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Move on, move on, move on. Okay. Oh no, there's no med kit in here. Oh. Wait, really? Apparently I didn't need to uh, spend all those neuromods, because I could have just crawled in here through a vent somewhere. In fact, just a thing on the wall right there, I could have just glued on my way up there. Well, that's a little bit of a waste then. I mean, there's probably some area where having hacking for will be useful. But this just goes to show you about that thing I was saying before. About how you rarely need hacking, because there's almost always a way around. The storage room near the grav shaft has extra O2 tanks, 3527. Storage room near the grav shaft, I think we had already let ourselves in there. Because I'm pretty sure I was able to hack the door without four hacking, so I'm not really sure. This is a weird room. None of the computer equipment seems to be interactable. Hey, what is the point of coming in here? Alright, let's go just have a little bit more thorough of a look around. So over here we have an atmosphere control room that I cannot enter. For some reason there's a reployer laying on the ground over here. Oh, you know what? That might be... No, no, this is the one I threw at that guy. Utilities. Uh, pursuant to Transtar Standard 309F, concentration of airborne particulates must be controlled to within specified limits. Uh... Okay. Let's initiate decontamination. I'm not actually sure what this is going to accomplish. Fan 3 malfunction. Fans look fine from here. Let's go have a look. Oh? Okay. Uh, actually, let's throw a thing at it. We'll just blow it out of the way. Problem solved. Look at that. I'm an engineer. Is that... Is it good? Is it going to start again? Do I have to go down there? Yeah, maybe I have to repair it manually. Huh. I mean, it seems real busted. There's a console up there for checking the fans. Oh! Huh. Apparently the airstreams that the fans are projecting uh, are instantly lethal because I jumped I tried to jump over the fans and the moment I was in the vertical space above the fans I definitely was not touching them but the moment I was in that vertical space above them I instantly died so that's cool okay well I guess we'll just uh, we'll just run around then this time oh I do that right how about box Look at that physics. Okay. So let's try this thing out. Let's uh, check the fans. Diagnosing fans. Fan three jam. I don't know that I agree. That it doesn't look that jammed to me. Maybe if that thing was off of there? And they have eight pistol bullets. Oh, you know what? This might be a job for the hunters. I mean... There's gotta be something else in there, right? Can you believe that didn't work? Uh, well... I certainly am not supposed to go down there. Oh, okay. Turn the fan controller off. And then 
then come down here and it's not jammed. Objectively, it is not jammed. How about... Okay, I wrenched it. It's probably fixed now. Because I'm a video game engineer. And that seems to be all they ever do to fix things. Just hit them with the wrench. Seems to just kind of work out. That did not work. The fan is just broken. That's weird. Oh, maybe I... You know what? Maybe I broke the fan uh, more permanently by blowing it up. It's possible that that was not the right way to handle the situation. So does that mean there's just no way for me to cycle the... Uh... Yeah, I just can't initiate decontamination then. I mean, maybe, maybe you can never actually unjam the fan. Maybe it's really broken. I guess I don't know what the point of decontaminating would be anyway. Yeah, whatever. Hey, look, an email. <clears throat> Atmosphere crew, two quick notes. I know this goes without saying, but remember to take extra safety precautions, especially if you've been awake for more than 20 hours. Yeah, that's good advice. I don't want to see someone dozing off and falling into the turbines. Also, special thanks to Divya for maintaining the decontamination chamber doors. We've gone four months without having to flush the air from this subsection, so great work. Hmm. Okay, so... It's possible that the only way into here is by initiating decontamination, but I don't know how that would work. Oh, hey, free jerky. Delicious. Let's just move this over. Uh, it doesn't look to me... I keep looking up, hoping for... Uh, you know, an entrance, a vent, something I missed. It looks like this room legitimately might not have a second way in. But we can, uh, real quick, do the rounds here while looking for a way in from the outside wall. Uh, I don't think that's anything. No. How about over here? No, oh, doesn't look like it. Down there, maybe? No. Huh. Okay, hold on a second. Where am I, like... Wait. Why was I here? Man. I might have been here because I got lost. It's possible I got lost. Let's look at our objectives real quick. I'm still supposed to be going to the Arboretum. I still haven't gotten the key to Alex's escape pod, although... Currently my plan is, um... What is my plan? You know what? Actually, Alex's escape pod, this might be like a really good idea. This is a good way. I'm sure uh, we, we set off that escape pod in the cargo bay area that definitely had more than one person in it. So this may be our only hope of saving ourselves and Michaela. Josh Dalton, working on the black box, is in the guts. There's drop points around Talos that have some stolen goods in them. I never did get Bellamy from his body, or Bellamy's room from his body. I never found it. I think I got distracted. Because, I don't know if you've noticed, but that happens to me sometimes. I just get a little bit distracted. Okay, well, um, I guess... Screw this place, whatever wonders it holds. We shall never see them. And instead... Let us, uh, let us get to that Arboretum. Huh. That's a strange musical cue. Okay, I don't think I missed anything in there. I guess there's still the issue of the closed security room that I never figured out how to get into. That's pretty weird. I wish I could mind control that engineering operator to press the button in there for us. This just goes back to the lobby. You never did get in there either. You know what? Let's explore it. 
I'm gonna quick save real quick. I know that there's radiation. Oh, it's not actually radioactive. It's just their dudes. I don't like it when you touch them with glue. For some reason, they find that very upsetting. Can I just, like, put this back up where it goes? No, but I can knock it over in a way that's better for me. Okay, I don't, uh... Don't have a lot of interest in reading that right at this moment. I guess it does, man it, it does mention paraplexis, doesn't it? I went to visit the Graces. Case studies of Neuromod donors and recipients. I went to visit the Graces. Brandy had passed from her paraplexis, and the connect connectomy of her ability to skate still remains unused in Transtar database. Oh no, I, we did read this. We totally read that. I'm pretty sure I read that. Okay, we have access to medical operators. There's a Neuromod. That's cool. Is that it? I was kind of hoping that there would be a, um, like a... What do you call it? A secondary entrance to the security from here, maybe like a ventilation shaft or some kind of some kind of helpful thing somewhere. But no, no such luck. Well, at least we can now get into this room. I'm actually gonna move this reployer out of here if it will let me. Yeah, okay, good. So now we could spawn a medical operator and it would be able to like roam around and stuff. Requesting new I mean, there's. There's no reason not to, right? Like, I don't need a lot of healing. But there's no good reason not to go up. Transfer. Are you ready for an appointment? Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. I'll have you feeling better. Hold on. Please fill okay. out a patient experience questionnaire Thanks. so I can serve you better next time. Yeah. It does not make me happy that I cannot figure out how to get into that security room. Those security rooms always have cool stuff in them. Anyway, let's move forward, shall we? Now, Alex's personal uh, escape pod key is in his safe, right? I think I think we I think we know that. I'm not too worried about going back to see what December had for me. I think I can get into his safe. I am the greatest hacker of all time. Also, we might be able to just recycle or charge the front door of a safe. That might be a real thing. I'm not sure. We haven't tried it yet. It sounds like it would be a real thing, though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay. I'm starting to... It's starting to all come back to me. So we... Microgravity detected. Wait, 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 wait. I think I saw a little red Microgravity star. detected. Yeah, we have to... Go back through that room, through the little... Huh. The event of malfunction, the cargo system requires manual activation. The system must be reactivated from both guts and the cargo bay. Let's see if we can do this. We have eight minutes. Made it to your office, Morgan. Oh, nice. I've been here since... I believe it was the time where your medical condition was discussed, Chief Engineer Ilyushin. What the hell? Morgan, yeah, is that? I am January. Morgan used personal operator. Talk about really loving the sound of your chat. own voice. All right, January. Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. Chief Ilyushin, please do not... Yeah, hey, hey, hey. You can use my fabricator. Don't touch my workstation. That's, you know, there could be sensitive materials. Okay, yeah, long, long conversations need to not happen when I'm doing important stuff. Okay. I don't actually know where we're going in Guts. Well, let's hope that the uh, timer's not too tight, because I just wasted a minute trying to look around and also listen to that conversation. I was kind of hoping that we could restart the timer. All right, activate cargo processing. I don't think I have any idea what that actually means, like from a what I have to do standpoint. How did I miss spare parts just floating in the in space here? 
All right. So we have a limited amount of time to find a cargo processing station and activate it. I have, I don't think we saw it before. I mean, really, it could be anywhere. <sighs> the second loading screen always gets me. What is the point of the first loading bar if after it's finished, I still have more stuff to load? All right, I'm not super, super confident about detected. moving around in here. Uh, is this... Is this a body that I had explored before? It is not. I'll take that. Wait, is this really it? Because there's six minutes left. Yes, that does appear to have actually been it. That was weird. Okay, let's open that cargo door. Not 100% sure what... Not 100% sure what that did. Which cargo door was? Right, is this engineering operators? Let's see if I'm, uh, if I'm as much of an expert hacker as I think I am. Look at that. Okay, yeah, the level 2 hacks are still way harder than the level 4 hacks. Requesting new operator. Okay, so we open the cargo door. Transdar, Cobalt, Fortin. Stand clear of aperture. Alright, thank you. Hold up. There's also an email on this thing. I guess we gotta check it. Okay. Oh no, this is just the other end of that email. So that has reestablished the cargo transmit. Let's, I guess, go have a look. It's possible that all I did here was open up an alternate way into the cargo bay which we've already been in. But actually, that's probably a good thing. A little bit more interconnectivity between the parts of the ship would do me, uh... Do me just fine. Hey, wait a second. How do I get in that cage? Because there's stuff in there. Can I... No, it seems to be... Pretty locked down. I guess that's a door. Maybe I should use the door. The door is locked. In what way is the door locked? I do not see a mechanism. Because trust me, I will, I will break it. I have no compunction about that. You know what? I can't... Uh... Well, I jiggled the handle. I'm all out of ideas. So wait, where was there a door in the cargo bay that I could not previously get through? Huh. Well, what we know, um... Don't we know that there's a survivor in the cargo bay still? Oh, the chief of security, right? Elazar? El I think Elazar. Because I think she contacted me when we were in the cargo bay before. Maybe this will help us get to her. Now that we've cleared the doors. Microgravity detected. I kind of can't believe they give you an eight minute timer for that thing. You have to go like three feet. I have no idea where we're going. Maybe this isn't the best weapon to have out in microgravity. I mean, I like the glue gun, though, for the, uh, for the versatility. Pretty much nothing wants to be completely immobilized.
Huh. Well. This has not been particularly valuable so far. Everything's fine. Well, I mean, everything's fine, but also kind of meaningless. Did I seriously miss a whole shipping crate? Apparently, I did. Okay, it wants me to use the. Uh, it wants me to basically just go back to get the uh, escape pod key. Screw that, we're going forward. We're gonna advance the damn plot. Let's go to the Arboretum. I wanna get the lift back under control. That's sort of my main concern right now. Once we have the lift back under control, it's gonna be so much easier for us to uh, pursue our weird little side quests all over the place. Right now, my mobility is extremely limited. That is making it difficult to get things done. Apparently somehow I turned myself upside down. I'm not gonna lie, I find all the rolling in guts to be a little bit disorienting. The way you you sort of naturally roll uh, when you move. Not disorienting in the sense that it makes me sick to my stomach or anything, but just I have trouble keeping track of which direction is which in there. I got no frame of reference in three-dimensional space, which is weird, considering you know, that I live in it. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the door? Because that wasn't open before, was it? Was it? I have, man, I actually have no idea. Well, whatever the case, let's look around a little bit. That could be opened. I want to check this. Okay, null wave transmitter. I have not been making use of a lot of the fancy tech grenades. Effectively tech grenades. Man, a level two hack, the most difficult of all. Somehow we managed to pull it off. Uh, okay. There are some crates in here. Is that it? Is that all that was? Huh. Weird. Clearly there's been Typhon in here, because there's a ton of coral. I guess all this area was? Huh. These are all burned. This open? Not see what's out there anyway, and I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that what's out there is space. Yeah, alright, well. I don't know why I have an objective marker for the cargo bay at all times. Get wrenched on. That's right. Even, even in microgravity, there is no escape from my terrifying wrench. Okay. Well, we'll figure out the mystery of whether I actually did anything at all of value here in uh, in a little bit. I guess we should probably just go and unlock the arboretum.
Michaela's in thing. Yeah. All right. Let's just go to the arboretum. We will figure out other stuff later. Unfortunately, that is apparently going to take me all the way to the other side of the thing. Shuttle bay. There's no reason for me to go to the shuttle bay. Uh, how am I going to deal with that turret? Because I actually would like that to not be reprogrammed anymore. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to goop it up. Oh, it is glue proof. My thinking is that I can hack it. Right? I've been able to hack a lot of things. I cannot, in fact, hack it, but I can. Huh. Well, I got over to a friendly turret, and it shot the turret that I was holding. Which, I guess, I mean, it had good things in its heart, but that's an incredibly dangerous maneuver. Okay, I did search this area. Alright, let's just get to the arboretum. Is this the way? I mean, probably, no matter which way I go, it's going to get me there. Oh, there's something radioactive out there. There were a couple of canisters, as I remember, of just radioactive garbage, so... Woo. Okay, I'm going really fast, actually. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, I'm, like, right on top of something radioactive. What was that? I actually don't see anything. Well, there's one of those canisters. That's back in the maintenance tunnel the way we came. Hey, buddy, I could use a little touch up. Inspector, your suit's leaking. I'll match that Okay. A near miss. I did it. Oh, shoot. How's there a weaver still alive in here? Yeah, wow, this thing is incredibly powerful when it's, when it's all upgraded. Holy crap. Still, I need to be careful with the ammo a little bit. Uh, do I want to try to get these cystoids with the pistol? Ah. No chain reactions at all. That's an active mess. You know what, we're going to have to... Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. Actually, at this uh, in microgravity, the glue gun has an effective range of forever. There we go. There's your chain reaction. Okay, I probably shouldn't actually be that close to that rail. Ow! Apparently, I didn't quite do that fast enough. Various gross body parts. Hey, buddy. Uh, eel, it's like eel bits, right? Cool, I guess. Uh, that's, not, that's not a thing I can open. Alright, so I think once we get to the Arboretum. We're going to have access to basically the whole station. Some random floating liquid. And once that's the case, then we can uh, finally figure some things out. I really, really, really want to find access to the crew quarters. We have so many uh, stolen cabin keys. I guess we were in life support already, weren't we? Oh, what happened here? Huh. Okay, well, nothing's... 
Nothing's jumping out at me on the mimic scanner. I don't see any vents that are like concealed behind things. That just says Typhon Corpse. It doesn't even say what kind. So League of James was trying to play baseball with him. Let this be a lesson to you. What you think is going to turn out what you think is gonna be a friendly game of baseball can turn ugly at any moment. Hey, free recycler charge. Right, looks like there's not anything here for me. So let's do it. It's about time, too, man. I feel like I've been headed to the Arboretum for, like, a really long time, and I keep getting distracted by stuff. Well, finally. We're sort of almost here. Now we just have to wait for the double loading screen. Oh. <sighs> So I would assume that some kind of important plot event is going to happen up here. Just a feeling. Just a feeling based on the way video every video game ever is plotted. Kind of makes me want to walk around with my... You made it. Though. Nice work. The entrance to deep storage is off the Arboretum. Your brother's Ooh. office is up here as well. Like Jupiter in his palace at the top of the heavens. You used to say oh. that behind his back. But that would make you... what? Do you know? Hmm, no. That's an unpleasant thought. That actually got me. I jumped a little bit. I can't believe... It's been such a long time since I fell for one of those. I guess that's probably why it worked, though. Officer Ja, this is Chief Elazar. Ja here. Chief. How can I help you? I need you to report to deep storage and get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is and escort him where he needs to go. Wait, I didn't want to do that. Come on, Chief. Those. So Grant Lockwood was fired. But they didn't manage to actually get him off the station in time, it sounds like. Alright, is there anything else that I want to... Here, let's auto-sort these. Anything else that I want to donate? I have some alcohol that I don't actually want to drink. Okay, yeah, I think that'll do for now. Not bad. 24 units of metal, 17 or something. Oh, I love picking all that stuff up. Okay. Boy. What kind of external trauma does the station keep experiencing? We're out in space, for Christ's sake. What am I... How am I on ammo? Okay, let's definitely make some shotgun shells. The shotgun is incredibly powerful. Oh, we don't need any glue gun ammo. You know what? Let's do shotgun shots one more time. I actually have to be a little bit careful. I am going through my synthetics pretty quickly here. How am I on pistol ammo? I have nine rounds. That's not going to work. And this only takes one. So. Okay, so... I have four med kits. I could use a lot more of those. Those each require one synthetic. And then, of course, neuromods are at two each. I think I actually have enough QB ammo. Uh, I picked up a battery for this thing just now. <sighs> Expensive to make, too. We'll make do with, uh, with what we have. So let's grab... One med kit at least, because Neuromods take two supplies. So the question is, do I want to go three or four Neuromods or three Neuromods and two more med kits? I am at four mods right now. Let's let's get four more mods. We'll probably be okay. Now that I've said it, yeah. 
Listen, I know what you just thought, and I heard it too. This is what you're not What was possess a person to say? Alright, this neuromod design is very, very good to us. Oh, I didn't actually search everything. That's a fair point. Cycle this one tubing. You need the plastic. Okay. So, uh, here. Actually, it kind of doesn't look like there's that much to look at. There's this weird, like, faux natural stone thing. Alright. What is that? It's big, whatever it is. And it just, like, screamed at me? I wasn't. Was that just a phantom? Morgan, it might have just been a phantom. Are you alright? That Typhon. There's nothing in the research. Stay oh, away no. from it. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to be scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. We'll be cautious though. Okay, let's let's go around. Let's not go through the door that it's definitely looking at. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. Yeah, I feel like I got the guts pretty much figured out, but I hear what you're saying. Busted turrets. Huh. Well, I'm a little torn. Oof. I'm a little torn as to whether I want to fix these turrets or not. Maybe I just want to stay stealthy. Yeah, let's not reveal our presence to that to that thing. Because apparently I'm supposed to be scared of it. Experimental plant growth in progress. Do not disturb. What kind of experimental plant growth? What manner of experimental plant? Gem on tomato superior. Ah, yes. Experimental tomatoes. I'm so glad that we're here doing this. What is this? something moving in there? Or is that, like, water dripping? Well, in any case, I see a med kit. Oh my god. Do you remember when I was good at hacking? Good lord. What an embarrassment. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Get this back out. Okay, because I didn't see that. That one was persistent. Even after I hit it once, it stayed, uh, it stayed mimicked. Stop by, but you were out. FYI, reviewed your lab notes. Plants pose no health risk. Should be good to go in the arboretum. It's pose no health risk. I wonder uh, what exactly they were trying to do. Man, there wasn't even a real med kit in here. Mimic taunted me. Tempted me into doing something. Ooh, where am I? Hold on, let's not wander off into the woods just yet. The main lift is that way. Hmm. Okay, well, I know what I just said about wandering off, but I have had pretty good luck with maintenance shafts thus far. Where are we going, exactly? Oh, Mark Sellers. Oh, wait. <sighs> okay, I'm a dumb guy. This is... This is back out where I... This is where I came in. Uh, 
Apparently, I get really easily disoriented no matter the situation. I don't mean maybe I should just fix the turrets because like them putting up this many turrets strongly suggests that the idea here is that I'm supposed to use a bunch of turrets to fight that thing are they really gonna throw a boss fight at me it seems kind of uh, out of character a little bit hey Jenny how you doing ah I actually saw something, right? I think I saw something. Maybe not. Maybe I'm a crazy person. But hey, you know what I do see is turrets. Hey guys, hey you What's up, fellas? Huh. Dispatched greater mimics. What is this? That one was real. So you get a medical operator. Get a not very well hidden grate. Should check these cabinets too. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, apparently I didn't move this thing far enough. I don't know where I'm Obstruction detected. Please clear aperture of debris. Okay. Where exactly does this go? Huh. Oh, an etheric phantom, my least favorite kind. You are absolutely just getting the shotgun. Yes. Both. Okay. Uh, this is taking considerably more shells than I would like. There we go. I hate these things. Of all the phantom types, these are the ones I would least like to fight. Alright. Well, at least there was some good loot. Give themselves. Can I, uh. Yes, in fact, I can just. What exactly is back here? Huh. gonna be the same yeah I guess this is the maintenance area for the elevator it's also oh there's like a decorative waterfall above me I guess it's also the maintenance area for the decorative water feature is there anything in here that's actually like Oh, hey, this little maintenance room. Okay, those have traditionally had good stuff in them. Where is the entrance to this one? Do you get in through the top? I can't... Man. Some kids drawing. Okay. Okay. Aggressor amp. That sounds like my kind of amp. Increase the damage of all psi attacks up. I was hoping it was a chipset. So that's another kid's drawing. Or no, it's pretty good. Okay, well, I don't actually see a way down. Did I seriously just like miss the door? Good afternoon, Talos. Join us in congratulating Dr. Did. Lorenzo totally Calvino, winner of the Employee Innovation Award this quarter. No, no, I cannot move that out of there. 
know what I would really like is if um, the automated PA messages could stop. All right, well, there's a bunch of reployers in here. Spare parts, which I absolutely do not need. Holy crap, do I have enough spare parts. Probably to last me the rest of the game. And actually, that kind of seems to be it. This area is remarkably devoid of anything meaningful. Oh. I guess this is significant. Sorry, Karen. Something tells me you won't be needing this anymore. Yeah, okay, that's what this was about. I wonder what happened to her. Because she's just kind of dead on the floor. I mean, the uh, the etheric phantom probably was able to kill her through the uh, through the door with his, uh, through the grating, with his crazy etheric powers. Looks like nothing special hidden under here. Okay, well. This has been somewhat productive so far. All right, it is time. One of the very first things I wanted to do the second we got into Talos 1 proper was figure out how to fix the elevator. And now, what is it, like 15 hours later? We're finally, finally about there. So we've already been to the life support deck, though. Where are the crew quarters? Because I thought I was pretty thorough in life support. Right, we did all that stuff with the water treatment area, and... Huh. Well, we'll have to find him eventually. Morgan, that Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The Phantom oh. you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities. Only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you Ooh, more. Technopath. We are definitely Q-beaming a te Technopath. I am not fighting that thing in any other way. Yeah, the pulses, um... EMPs just like floating in the air and repeatedly shocking you and keeping your weapons turned off for the entire time that they exist is a rough combination with my usual strategy of backing to a corner as Morgan, best, uh, as that Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. How is it the, the phantom you unleashed in psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities. Only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it to the more. Oh, come on. I backed away, I backed away from that like, a long way away. Why is the gun still not functional? Yeah, okay. My... The QB was... It, like, locked in that... Punching the QB animation for literally the entire time as soon as that thing saw me. Until I was dead. How am I supposed to... Usually I fight these things in more open areas. Also, there really, really, really need to be save file level flags for conversations so that it doesn't replay conversations when you, like, die and have to reload. Well, we could EMP the thing first. Let's try that. Let's try EMPing it. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities. Here, Only right? this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you more. Yeah, get him while he's incapacitated. How do you like it, nerd? Oh, come on, come on, nice come on. Work. Start working, the lift start is working. Responding again. That type in oh. the hardware, even the software running the system, all the way down to the machine code, reprogramming it on the fly. Fascinating and alarming. I can patch up the code. You should be fine. Take the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on Talos 1. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. Are you seriously just prolonging the extremely long phone call so you can tell me how an elevator works? She meant that the Technopath 
was keeping the elevator. But that doesn't make sense, because she was talking about it like it was a new kind of Typhon, and we've seen Technopaths tons of times. Well, I mean, not tons of times, but more than once. How would you get to this point in the game without having seen a Technopath? Oh, hey, this is Hendrik de Vries. This guy is, um... Uh... Is somebody important. I don't remember who he is. He's definitely somebody important. I remember this name. Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. Huh. New objective. I swear there is one. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but there totally is one. Yeah, that that was weird. We definitely have seen it. I when I thought she was talking about the thing that she just said was an unknown type of typhon. Like, I don't know, this doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so we, I guess, have saved the elevator. The elevator is now functional. Grant Lockwood. He's in deep storage. Or at least I have to get to deep storage. I need to go see Michaela in my office. Well, uh, you know what? Let's not go down the lift, because we do have some important things to do up in the Arboretum yet. And in fact, this might be a good, uh, a good time for a break. So, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come back next time. Uh, maybe we're going to finally get some answers as to what the hell is going on around here. We'll see you then.